friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a hypermature morgagnian cataract with a hard nucleus in this case i am going to do lics that is large incision cataract surgery we can also call this dsics that is double small incision cataract surgery we are going to see that in a very short time superior rectus pedal suture has been applied now conjunctival peritomy for about 4 clock hours from 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock yes we are going to do a large incision cataract surgery in this case and if you learn this you will never have problem in hard brown or black cataracts and you need only just one suture very mild weight field cautery has been done and now I'm going to make two incisions two SICS incisions five millimeter each this is five millimeter and this is also five millimeter these two wounds are going to be placed side by side two SICS wounds going to be placed side by side as this is the first SICS wound and this is the adjoining second SICS wound and now we are going to make the tunnel just like we make it in SICS since two SICS wounds are adjacent to each other we can call this DSICS that is double small incision cataract surgery or LICS large incision cataract surgery yes just making the sclerocorneal tunnel just like we make in SICS go into clear cornea for about 1.5 millimeter and sweep in this case backward and to the left and make sclerocorneal tunnel since two SICS wounds are adjacent to each other it has taken the shape of a large V incision V shaped incision and now the sclerocorneal tunnel to the right side is being made yes so the size of this incision is about 10 millimeter uh, even for this case we'll need only one suture at the apex of the V this is a side port at around 8:45 o'clock air bubble is injected and beneath this air bubble triban blue 0.06 percent dye is applied over the capsule and the staining occurs very fast yes nice staining has occurred in about four seconds and now two percent SPMC is injected into the anterior chamber and capsulorexis is to be done I'm going to use a 26 gauze bent needle cystitome to make this incision to make this rexis and it is going to be a large rexis about six millimeter so that these white hard nucleus can come out easily in this case I am planning to prolapse the nucleus just by hydro that is hydro dissection rexis has been done some visco is injected 
to keep the IOP on the higher side because we are going to open the tunnel. Now I take the keratome, go to the anterior extreme of the sclerocorneal tunnel and then enter into the anterior chamber and now open the tunnel completely cut when we go forward and now this is hydro dissection hydro dissection is actually not necessary but I am doing hydro just to prolapse the nucleus let us see if it prolapses by hydro or not yes it has come out and in this case my plan is to do visco expression visco expression means the delivery of the nucleus by viscoelastic substance as we inject visco behind the nucleus the pressure will build up and it will come out through the large wound very easily it would have come out through a 9 millimeter wound but, but if the nucleus is very hard black cataract and nigra then this 10 millimeter wound will be very helpful and now cortical cleanup you can see some milky fluid it is coming out very little cortex is there but lot of cells are sticking to the posterior capsule and I have to spend some quality time to polish the posterior capsule at this time since I'm working through the main incision care must be taken and we must see that the antechamber should not collapse even when we are working through this large wound if it collapses we can make two side ports and work through these side ports here I'm trying to remove the cells sticking to the posterior capsule and I find that it is not coming out so I have taken the irrigating proof of Feco handpiece and um, hydro polishing the posterior capsule. What I am doing is one jet of fluid is directed over the posterior capsule and these cells get dislodged and these cells and the posterior capsule gets nicely polished. Now visco is injected and in this case I am implanting a polymethyl methacrylate rigid intraocular lens in the capsular bag. If the patient can afford you can implant Technis multipiece intraocular lens in the capsular bag and if the patient can afford more you can implant Technis multifocal multipiece intraocular lens in the capsular bag and as you have seen the surgery is so smooth delivery of the nucleus is so smooth there is no struggle inside the eye and the cornea is going to be crystal clear next day here I am doing some more polishing of the posterior capsule and now my plan is to put a suture at the apex of this V shepherd incision and what will happen the two SICS wounds will get 
joined to each other so as we make the knot it will be just two SICS wounds side by side and here I am just placing the releasable suture to oppose the conjunctiva at the limbus and now I am going to tie the knot this is going to be a two one one suture two throws and the apex should just nicely oppose and that's it since this is just like two SICS wounds side by side no other suture is required so friends this is a very safe surgery whenever you find a very hard black nucleus you need not make a very large frown incision just make two small side by side SICS wounds and place on suture you can make 10 millimeter wound as you are seeing in this case and just place one suture at the apex and now I am removing the viscoelastic substance and it has to be a very nice cleaning you cannot hurry up friends this is not a surgery where you do SICS in three minutes this is quality surgery taking care of the eye taking care of corneal endothelium and we're going to oppose the conjunctiva nicely to the limbus and this wound is going to heal very nicely within a month or so this is moxifloxacin the side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration and now I will check that the wound is fine there is no leakage from the wound and as I put some pressure on the glove the wound is nicely sealed and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber some more visco is there that is being removed so that there is no rise of intraocular pressure in the post-operative period now the anterior chamber is formed I check the pressure I find that it is on the lower side so I want to inject some more fluid through the side port I take the irrigating probe and inject only one flow of this fluid irrigating probe in the eye and then now the pressure is okay and now we are going to conclude the case remove the superior rectus bridal suture inject gentamicin and dexamethasone subconjunctively conjunctiva comes forward and now we are going to place the releasable suture on the right end of the peritomy and this is just three throws and that's it one two three throws hold the suture pull it and your releasable suture is done now you cut the needle cut the thread with the needle short keep the other thread longer and as you pull the longer thread in the post op period it will come out thank you very much for your attention 
hope this video will help you in managing your hard black cataracts.